Tá bem, mãe? Let's go, baby! We did a mile benchmark and I got a personal best. Look at that. I can run a mile in 8 minutes and 17 seconds. Try to catch me. You probably can. I'm like a sitting duck. Let's get that anxiety on. And the showers wouldn't turn on, so I'm gonna go home and shower there, which Joe's gonna f love. Because I'm gonna wake him up not once, but twice. Happy Wednesday, baby. I love you. I'm driving the boys to the vet, and Icky just took a sh in the back seat. <sighs> uh. God damn it, bro. I took you out. You were in the backyard. That's where you sh on me. Not back there, bro. That is not cool, homie. <laughs> Look who's chill now. Look who's sitting in their little poofs de poofs right now. <sighs> Clean bill of health, trimmed nails. We're f crazy, baby! Day three! Day three! <laughs> Hi, sharks. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, do you want me to just get rid of that broccoli? Yeah, I want you to just get rid of that broccoli. Stop, I'll get rid of that broccoli. Okay, I'm well, not... it's in your shot, so I felt that. I know, I'm just not gonna be able to cut. Careful, I... you're, you're just throwing broccoli shit over Come here, Bill Bill. It's clam chowder time. You're so cute, my goodness. Okay, today, Bobo and I are gonna be making clam chowder. Huh, Bobo? It's got bacon in it. Bobo love bacon. And I think he rolled in poop, and I think you can see it on his neck. I love you. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. After Icky got fixed, I had to like pump the brakes on the 5 a.m. wake ups. Also because by day four of the 5 a.m. wake up, I forgot to set an alarm and I just didn't wake up. So <laughs> since then I have not woken up at 5 a.m. I am gonna try something different. I'm gonna do a 6 a.m. wake up and see if I can work through a schedule that just starts a little bit later, but still encompasses all of the mental health things that I am looking for. So stay tuned guys. Today we're using the Easy Clam Chowder from damndelicious.net. And let's get right into it, people. Let's see our ingredients. We're gonna want four slices of bacon diced. Aw, oh, damn, I forgot about it. There's a mirror piece over here that just keeps glaring in my face. And Joe's constantly flipping the mirror piece over, and I'm constantly flipping it back over. And I don't want him the satisfaction of knowing that I can't stand it flipped the way I keep it flipped either. So I might just suffer through this glare. Ugh, being married is really difficult and confusing. Butter! Two cloves of garlic minced, and onion diced. Two large russet potatoes. I'm only doing one because I'm not a potato girl. Um, and I'm gonna peel this because I'm not a potato skin gal either. Ugh. Dried thyme. All purpose flour. Not gonna use the almond flour. Apparently that's why my cupcakes exploded last time. Got a lot of pro tips in the comment section. And I gotta say, I really appreciate you guys. And I am so grateful for my internet parents who are raising me in the comment section. Clams! And then it says vegetable stock, but personally I f chicken stock. I like it a little bit more than the vegetable stock. One bay leaf, which by the way, dude, bay leaf's mad expensive. This sh was $16 at the grocery store and then I came home and Joe was like, we have bay leaves. So now I'm gonna return those to the grocery store. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but the cost of groceries has gone through the roof. I bought a tomato today and it was two dollars and 33 cents for one tomato like I'm shook a cup of half and half I'm literally blinded by that mirror but I refuse to turn it back over petty to bitter end if you haven't seen it it's on my channel watch my short films kosher salt there's supposed to be milk ah one cup of milk and I don't do fresh parsley because it ends up just rotting in my fridge so I have dry parsley and uh, let's get to it. G E T, get to it. M O V E, move it. Wow, it's crazy how you remember those things, huh? Icky piss. Icky also pissed on my front seat. Moving on. 
my in frame why am i never sure i'm so scared i'm not i wanna be sure but how could i be let's start kicking first thing we're gonna do is Ooh. okay the recipe heat a large stock pot on medium high heat add bacon and cook until brown and crispy about six to eight minutes transfer to paper towel lined plate reserving one tablespoon excess fat in the stock pot then we're gonna melt butter in the stock pot add garlic and onion and cook stirring frequently until onions have become translucent about two to three minutes then we're gonna stir in thyme until fragrant, and that's about one minute. Step three, whisk in flour until lightly browned, about one minute. Gradually whisk in milk, vegetable stock, clam juice, and bay leaf. Whisking constantly until slightly thickened, one to two minutes, stir in potatoes. Step four, bring to a boil, reduce heat and simmer until potatoes are tender. That's 12 to 15 minutes. Stir in half and half <laughs> and clams until heated through about one to two minutes. Season with salt and pepper to taste. If the soup is too thick, add more half and half as needed until desired consistency is reached. Serve immediately. Garnish with bacon and parsley if desired. Good thing I didn't buy that parsley it's just if desired wow see these are crazy okay so I've done everything on the instructions but I always like to add a little bit more for me it's not tangy enough I use garlic salt bay seasoning and Worcestershire sauce to sort of give it that Lizzie twist you'll also notice I added celery I usually like to add carrots 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 car 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 carrots to it as well but i did not do that this time as of right now i can definitely tell you this pretty and we're gonna do the billy goat taste test okay. <laughs> Okay, my favorite. Careful, it's hot, bro. Yeah, I can tell, Jesus. Jeez, this might take a while. <laughs> I've been slurping on it. Just put a spoonful in your, in your blow zone. Mmm, yeah. It's interesting, it's a, a little more, I think, leaning on the bacon. A lot of bacon in there. Yeah, it's not bad. It tastes a lot like, uh, those loaded potato soups. Yeah. And it's still not my favorite clam chowder though. What's your favorite clam chowder? I mean, it just tastes like my favorite clam chowder. What's and your it's favorite? It's too big and heavy. I, I have nothing, I can't say it's this from there or that from this or it has a name or anything. It's just I know good clam chowder and my favorite clam chowder when I have it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give it an 8.6. Cause I mean, I could eat this all day, that's for sure. I Ain't mean, nothing wrong with this. Yeah. Mm. I'm into it too. I personally give it an 8.7. Mm. Yeah, I like it. One up I do agree with you on it tasting a little bit like a loaded baked potato soup. The other thing is, um, this asked, this called for double the amount of potato you're enjoying right now. Wow. That would have been too much, Too right? much, way too much. I don't know who wrote that. That's <laughs> what are we working at, boys? Mm -hmm. Very good, and thank you for a nice little hefty amount. The fact that you just ate that whole last bowl means that <laughs> you're a snake. That was not a whole last bowl. You're a monster. Thanks, Billy Goat. Bet you expected me to bring your dish to the sink too, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Leave no jab left unturned. <laughs> Watch your back, carrots. I have entered this like showcase thing for works in progress, meaning it's work that's not finished yet. And I entered 
eating monster ass, that short that I shot in Ryland's backyard, and it was accepted. So I'm gonna go to this stranger's backyard in Hollywood to watch it with a bunch of people. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. You guys look good. I think this is our year as a collective. The only these people here, it's gonna be your year. Woo! <laughs> yes. They're gonna have another pandemic probably, but you guys, <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna have one. You're gonna be safe. Everyone here is gonna have a really good time, at least for tonight. <laughs> uh, I was super depressed on Christmas Eve, so I went on a big hike and filmed it. Um, don't. Don't do it unless you know what you're doing. Uh, I did Mount Baldy. It's dangerous in the winter. Don't know. This video went from dumb to dangerous. You see Kevin Nealon doing this on his vlog. Because Kevin Nealon's a coward. Also like 70. Mostly he's a coward. You don't get views like this, Kevin. I just realized how unhinged I sound. I'm just out here alone. Yelling about Kevin Nealon. No one even knows who that is. I have to like pull up his Wikipedia page. And the other thing is that it's for the year 2023, I gave up weed. Oh. Shit. oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't be stupid. Uh, new for 2023. I'm gonna try and class. The salesman who is extremely uncomfortable, but too scared to do anything about it. A few moments later, they finish their tryst, kiss one another on the lips, get dressed, and leave the store without paying for their blueberry treat. Oh my golly, a whole bucket of surge. Okay, I was seriously contemplating whether or not I was going to incorporate my actual work in progress version of the short in this. What do I do? What is this called? Vlog? I'm just going to show it. I'm going to share it. It's not finished, it's not anything really, it's a rough cut with rough sound in it and I'm gonna change a lot of it before I actually post it. But I kinda wanna show you guys that it's okay to be a work in progress. Yeah, I failed at my 5 a.m. I'm a work in progress. I'm not gonna allow this to stop me. I'm gonna keep moving through it. So here is me introducing the short film. Not eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody had like this really witty introduction and I like couldn't think of one. So I just said there was a point in my life where a lot of people talked to me about eating ass. And then I showed it and I was really nervous and really scared and violently uncomfortable. And I don't like leaving my house or talking to anyone, let alone strangers. And putting myself out there is really hard and really scary, but I did it. And I think that that's important to remember. Even if you're anxious and scared and it's hard, Sometimes you still got to do it. And if you do it, you're doing it for yourself. And so here is a sneak peek at the rough cut of eating monster ass. Go forth and conquer, you guys. Do your thing. Even if you're a work in progress. You ever eaten ass before? No. Really? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? It kind of reminds me of a cat's tongue. Well, like your technique or like, like the texture of the actual asshole? Both. Did you just hear that? I'm looking towards the sound, aren't I? It's probably just like a, a deer or bear or something. There are bears here?
God, no! White woman ain't scared of sh <laughs> There's nothing even out here. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> 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 That's how I get my cat high. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever eaten ass before? He doesn't have a mouth hole, dude. Oh, you're right, you're right. Well, it's kind of like a cat's tongue. yourself and you're just you're too cool to judge yourself so you just stay on this branch and then I got frozen there with social anxiety and then I decided to sit in this back row next to this guy that I walked in with and I was like hey and he was like hey and we're like talking and then someone was like you can't sit here it's reserved and I was like oh we gotta move and then I was like you really fucked me and I was like joking but I was doing that thing that I do where I'm a little intense and then I realized this man doesn't know me and that that's probably a lot and then I told him that my biggest dream is that I can breastfeed my French Bulldog. And then I told him I have AI images of it, because I do. And then I showed him the pictures I have on my phone that AI generated of me breastfeeding my French Bulldog. Ah, it was uh, really fun. A lot of really fun, fun videos. Cool vibe. Super cool vibe. Check out Show and Tell. I will link it down below. And I'm definitely going back next month. It's a monthly thing. And I'm gonna submit a short film that I can't show anywhere else because it's got copyrighted music and uh, really shit audio. So I'll be back at show until next month. 
if you want to come see it, I will probably plug it on my social media pages and you can come see Probed, which is about aliens and stuff. Um, and if you're lucky, I will sit next to you and scream at you and then demand you look at the AI images of me breastfeeding my French Bulldog. So that's what you have to look forward to. See you next Tuesday. Cut.